One of my subscribers on this channel recently asked me, Doctor, I have been taking finasteride 0.5 milligram for almost seven years now. But recently when there was increased hair fall, I switched to tablet finasteride one milligram daily and added tablet deuteristride 0.5 milligram once a week. It's been four months now, but my hair loss is unabated. What do I do? Well, it is clinically well recognized that more DHT blockade is not always putting your best foot forward because hormonal pathways do not behave like a volume knob where turning it down further guarantees improvement. Often inhibiting DHT beyond a patient's individual threshold yields diminishing returns and in a subset paradoxically worsens the condition due to something that kicks in the ugly head of reflex hyperandrogenicity RHA and I have done several videos on RHA you can find them in the description below. Every nail does not need a sledgehammer. Finasteride, as we all know, selectively inhibits type 2 5-alpha reductase. Deuterostride, on the other hand, blocks both type 1 and type 2. And deuterostride blocks almost 97% of your DHT, achieving far deeper systemic suppression of DHT. However, androgen signaling in the scalp is heterogeneous. It means that there are several other reasons for your baldness besides DHT. Some patients derive moderate benefit by low doses like 0.5 mg taken thrice a week, enough to slow down miniaturization without destabilizing the delicate androgen follicle equilibrium. In these individuals, switching to a more potent inhibitor does not yield any benefit because the remaining follicles may be driven by factors other than DHT alone, like senile alopecia of advancing age, chronic inflammation, perifollicular fibrosis or just age-related biological fatigue. My subscriber who raised this question, his history fits a known pattern. Stabilization of hair loss while on low-dose finasteride for seven to eight years suggests that androgen-dependent loss was controlled during that period, but the later decline despite having taken deuterostride signals that the biology of his follicles may have shifted partially into androgen-independent mechanisms where increasing the pharmacological force only will add hormonal turbulence without addressing the real drivers. In other words, deuterostride may not be failing you. Your follicles may have entered a phase where DHT is no longer the sole puppeteer. At that stage, escalating suppression of DHT is like tightening the reins of a horse that is not the one pulling the carriage anymore. So what do you do in this case? Diagnostic evaluation by a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon is essential. Careful dermoscopy for heterogeneous miniaturization, hair cycle arrest patterns, perifollicular cast, scarring signatures and donor zone behavior are indicated. Many times the battle is the same but the enemy has changed shape and the old battle plan simply cannot win the war.